Hello friends, in the last video we have solved first three example from exercise 5.2. Now we are starting question number, question number 4. So if you will observe the given condition in question number 4, the position vector of point A and B are given to us. Where this is position vector of point A and this is position vector of point B. And question is, if the point C divides segment AB in the ratio 3 is to 2, then prove that or then show that the position vector of point C is given as 3A bar minus B bar. Means we have to find out position vector of point C which divides the segment AB in which ratio 3 is to 2. Means one segment AB is given to us here. Segment AB and point C divides this segment in the ratio what? 3 is to 2. Where position vector of point A is also given and position vector of point B is also given. And we have to prove that the position vector of point C is given by 3A bar minus B bar. Now it is not given to us that point C divides segment AB either internally or what? Externally. First uh, we will suppose that point C divides segment AB internally. Using internal division if we have got this result uh, then uh, not necessary to solve the second part. But applying internal division if we are not getting this value then we have to apply what external division and later on applying external division we have to prove that this will be the value of what position vector of point C. But in this case if you observe here what is the position vector of point A 6A bar plus 2B bar. Generally position vector of point A we are denoting by A bar. But here already A bar, B bar means values of these position vectors are given in terms of what? A bar and B bar. So we are not able to denote position vector of point A by what? A bar. So that's why we will denote position vector of point A by what? P bar. And position vector of point B by what? Say Q bar. Getting it? Why we are not able to denote their position vector by A bar? Because A bar is already used here value of position vector of point A is given in terms of what? A bar and B bar. So we are not able to use A bar and B bar here. So that's why we are denoting position vector of these two points by P bar and Q bar. So let P bar Q bar denote the position vector of point C by C bar and C bar be the, be the position vectors of, of points P, Q, sorry, of points, P bar is the position vector of which point? A. This Q bar is the position vector of which point? B. And C bar is the position vector of point C, respectively. Again, try to understand position vector of point A, we have denoted by P bar, B by Q bar, and position vector of point C by C bar. So, therefore, P bar will be equals to and Q bar is equals to. What is P bar? P bar is position vector of point A. But position vector of point A is equal to how much? 6A bar plus 2B bar. Q bar is the position vector of which point? B. But position vector of point B is given to us. What is this value? A bar minus 3B bar. And this is the position vector of point C. Which we have denoted by C bar. So value of P bar, Q bar and C bar are known to us, which are already given to us. Now we are using this condition that if point C, we don't know that point C divides segment internally or externally. So if point C divides segment AB internally in the ratio, in the ratio, what is the ratio? 3 is to 2. At that time, what will the value of C bar? Therefore, by section formula, C bar will be equals to, C bar will be equals to what? 3 into B bar. But instead of B bar, position vector is denoted by what? Q bar. Its position vector we have denoted by Q bar and here its position vector we have denoted by P bar. So what result we will get? 3 Q bar plus 2 P bar. So 3 Q bar plus 2 P bar upon 3 plus 2. So simplifying it, let us try to find out C bar. So therefore, C bar will be equals to, keep this 3 as it is, we are substituting the value of Q bar. So what is the value of Q bar? What is the value of Q bar here? Minus A bar 
ए बार माइनस थ्री बी बार ए बार माइनस थ्री बी बार सॉरी बी बार इज नॉट देयर पी बार इज देयर एंड नाउ वी आर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ पी बार हियर सो हियर वी विल गेट टू इंटू पी बार व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी बार सिक्स ए बार प्लस टू बी बार डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री प्लस टू विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव सो देर फॉर सी बार विल बी इक्वल टू नाउ लेट अस सिंप्लीफाई द न्यू मनेटर Collect the terms of a bar. So here three into a bar is three a bar, and two into six is what twelve. So twelve plus three means fifteen a bar. Now collect the terms of b bar. Three into minus three is minus nine, and here two into two is four. Minus nine plus four. Minus nine plus four will be equals to minus five b bar divided by five. Keep it as it is. Just I am dividing to both the terms separately by five. So which implies that c bar will be equals to 15 upon 5 will be equals to 3 a bar and uh, 5 upon 5 will get what cancel. So here we will get minus b bar and check that whether we have got same result means we have got the required value so of required value of position vector of point c. So we have shown that position vector of point c is 3 a bar minus b bar minus b bar. So in this case in Which division is there is not given. That point C divide internally or what externally. Just we have tried uh, to solve this example applying internal division and we have got the required result. In case if we are not getting the required result, then we have to try. We have to solve same example applying what external division. So here we can say that. So therefore, position vector of point C. Is is how much three a bar minus b bar, and that is the result which we have to prove here. So well, now we are solving next example question number five. In this case, we have to prove that prove that the line segment joining the midpoint of adjacent sides of a quadrilateral uh, forms a parallelogram. Uh, see, already you have studied about parallelogram in your earlier classes. so different ways are there to show that a quadrilateral is what parallelogram one is what show that opposite sides are parallel if in a quadrilateral if opposite sides are parallel at that time also we can say that quadrilateral is what parallelogram according to its definition again one theorem says that if opposite sides are equal then also quadrilateral is a parallelogram again one result says that if opposite angles are equal then also quadrilateral is a parallelogram again one result says that if diagonal bisect each other then also quadrilateral is a parallelogram and again one theorem which you have studied in your earlier classes is that if one pair of opposite sides is parallel and equal at that time also quadrilateral is parallelogram means five ways are there to show that quadrilateral is parallelogram what is first opposite sides are parallel second opposite sides are equal third opposite angles are equal fourth of diagonal bisect each other and fifth that if one pair of opposite side is parallel and what equal at that time also we can say that quadrilateral is parallelogram as per as vector is concerned we are using this fifth result uh, so that easily we can able to solve the example suppose that one quadrilateral is given to us abcd in this quadrilateral abcd if one pair of opposite side is parallel also and what equal also means here if you are able to show that ab is equals to its opposite side dc and ab is parallel to dc means one pair of opposite side is equal also and parallel also then we can say that this quadrilateral abcd is what parallelogram this this result you have proved as a theorem in your earlier classes so we are using this result in case of what vectors so now here what one any quadrilateral is given to us and we have to prove that the new quadrilateral formed by joining what midpoint midpoint of adjacent side and that new quadrilateral becomes what is what parallelogram so let us consider one quadrilateral any quadrilateral let's let us suppose that abcd is one quadrilateral a b c d is one quadrilateral okay so denote the midpoint of side ab by p midpoint of side bc by q midpoint of side cd say by r and ad say by s 
So we have denoted the midpoint of sides of this quadrilateral by P, Q, R, S. Now we have to prove that this new quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoint is a parallelogram. Means we have to prove that which quadrilateral is a parallelogram? P, Q, R, S. So in this new quadrilateral, we will try to show that one pair of opposite sides uh, is equal also and it's parallel also. So that we can say that this quadrilateral is parallelogram. So first write down the given condition here. So we have considered one quadrilateral. Which quadrilateral? A, B, C, D. In this quadrilateral, what is our supposition? P, Q, R and S are midpoints of sides. Midpoint of sides. Of which sides? P is the midpoint of side A, B. Then Q is the midpoint of side BC, R is the midpoint of side DC and S is the midpoint of side AD uh, respectively. Since we, we are not able to apply here geometrical method which you have studied up to 10th standard. Here in examination question is asked in such a way that using vector method always the question is in this form using vector method prove that the segment joining Getting it means starting of the question is using vector method. And since we have to use vector method, so our all formulas are in terms of what? Position vector. So total how many points are there? 8 points. So let us denote their position vectors. So I am denoting here position vector of this point by A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar, P bar, Q bar, R bar and S bar. Be the position vectors of points A, B, C, D, P, Q, R and S respectively. So total 8 points are there. We have defined their position vectors. Now we are, uh, we are finding the result which are getting applying midpoints because here midpoints are there means definitely we have to use the midpoint formula. So let us see what result we are getting applying midpoint formula. So by midpoint formula. Now P is the midpoint of AB means P bar will be equals to A bar plus B bar upon 2. Then Q is the midpoint of BC means Q bar will be equals to B bar plus C bar upon 2. Then R is the midpoint of CD means R bar will be equals to C bar plus D bar upon 2. In the same way S is the midpoint of AD. So S bar will be equals to A bar plus D bar upon 2. All these reasons we have got applying midpoint formula. Now we are using all these given condition. We are trying to show that one pair of opposite side is what parallel also and what equal also. So let us consider one pair that PQ and SR. This is one pair of opposite side. So therefore here we can say that PQ bar will be equals to. So therefore PQ bar is equals to. So let us try to find out value of PQ bar. So we know that PQ bar in terms of position vector. PQ bar in terms of position vector can be written as Q bar minus P bar. PQ bar can be written as what? Q bar minus P bar. Now substitute the value of Q bar minus P bar. This is the value of Q bar and this is the value of P bar which we have got applying midpoint formula. What is the value of Q bar? B bar plus C bar upon 2 minus P bar is equal to A bar plus B bar upon 2. So which is equal to if you will observe your denominators are same. So that's why we are able to take the subtraction of numerator. See what we will get. This plus B bar and minus into B bar means minus B bar will get cancelled. Means B bar and B bar will get cancelled. Remaining term is C bar minus A bar. So C bar minus A bar upon 2. Let us denote this result say by equation number first. In this way we have got the value of which vector? PQ bar. Now we are trying to find out value of its opposite side SR. Means SR bar and SR bar. SR bar in terms of position vector can be written as what? R bar minus S bar which is equals to replace R bar by its value where its value is equal to C bar plus D bar upon 2 minus S bar is A bar plus D bar 
upon 2. So which is equal to here also denominator of both the term is what same. Let us check which term from numerator will get cancelled. This uh, d bar plus d bar and minus into d bar means minus d bar. Plus d bar and minus d bar will get cancelled. After cancelling plus d bar and minus d bar, remaining terms are c bar minus a bar. So here remaining term is c bar minus a bar denoted by equation number 2. Now here we can observe that in these two equation check whether right hand sides are equal since right hand sides are equal so we can say that these left hand sides are also equal so from equation first and second we can say that pq bar will be equals to what sr bar pq bar will be equals to sr bar now what we have shown here we have shown that these two vector quantities are equal then our definition of equality of two vectors says that two vectors are equal means their magnitudes are equal and they are in the same direction. So means this implies that magnitudes are equal means PQ is equal to what? SR and they are in the same direction. If they are in the same direction means in other word we can say that they are parallel to each other. So PQ is parallel to what? SR. So in quadrilateral, what result we have got in quadrilateral PQRS? In this quadrilateral PQRS, what we have shown? One pair of opposite side PQ and SR is nothing but what? One pair of opposite side. In this quadrilateral, what result we have got? PQ is equal to SR and PQ is parallel to SR. Means you are getting it. What result we have got? One pair of opposite side is equal also and parallel also and we know that if one pair of opposite side is parallel and equal at that time we can say that the quadrilateral is what parallelogram so hence we can say that quadrilateral pqrs is a parallelogram and that is the result which we have to prove here we have to show that this new quadrilateral formed by joining midpoint is a parallelogram So well, in the next video, we will discuss the remaining example from this exercise. Well, today we will stop.